Christopher Marlowe's Tamerlane the Great is a saga narrating a blood-soaked tragedy. The protagonist of the play first belonged to a humble background, but with his shrewdness and cunning, he rose to the power equation and became a ruler and a conqueror. He ruled and conquered almost the whole of Central Asia, killed his own son, and died leaving his progeny to conquer the rest of the world. Today's topic is Christopher Marlowe's Tamale in the Great. And by the end of the video, you'll know about the historical background behind the play, about a brief biography of Christopher Marlowe, and a detailed summary of the text. But first, if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing to it by hitting the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time I post a video. Christopher Marlowe is an Elizabethan poet, playwright and the most important predecessor of William Shakespeare. He is also among the university wits along with Green, Peel, Lily, Nash, Lodge and arguably Thomas Kitts. University wits are a group of English playwrights belonging to the Elizabethan age who were Oxford and Cambridge graduates. Marlowe is famous and still remembered for his establishment of dramatic blank verse. His famous works include Dr. Foster's, Edward II, Geoff Malta, among others. The play was written in 1587 and published in 1590, that is during the 16th century, when England was ruled by the Tudor dynasty and Queen Elizabeth I was on the English throne. The play began with a prologue declaring, the play will not deal with pity subjects as are discussed in other plays, but will deal with a story about a great conqueror and his victories. The play is divided into two parts. The first part opens in Persephone, where the Persian emperor Mycedes sends his army to destroy the Scythian shepherd and bandit Tamerlane. On the other hand, the emperor's brother Koshro plots to overthrow his brother and instead sit on the throne and be the emperor of Persia. Elsewhere in Scythia, Tamerlane was successful in wooing Xenocrat, the Egyptian princess. There, the soldiers of Mycetes attacked Tamerlane, but Tamerlane convinced those soldiers as well as Kosro to join forces with him, exchange of which he'll help Kosro to sit on the throne of Persia. Just as said, they joined forces with Tamerlane, but after killing Mycetes in the battle, instead of handing over the throne to Kosro, Tamerlane himself sat on the throne and became the emperor of Persia, and in the battle, killed Kostro. Ambitious Tamerlane then set his eyes on the Turkish emperor Bazazit. In the battle, Tamerlane defeats Bazazit, captures him and his wife Zabina and cages them. He treated Bazazit like a slave and feeds him only his remnants and only let him out of the cage so that he can be used as a footstool. When Bazazit's father hears of the victories of Tamerlane, he kills himself on stage by bashing his head onto the cage's bar. And when Zabina, his wife, sees that his husband is dead, she commits suicide likewise. Tamerlane's father extends his reach to Africa and declares himself to be the emperor of the entire continent. Then he sets his eyes on Damascus, but to get there, he'll have to defeat his to-be father-in-law, the Egyptian king. Seeing the life of her father in threat, Xenocrat begs Tamerlane to spare her father, which Tamerlane complies. Tamerlane then turns the Egyptian sultan into a tributary king and father went to Damascus. The governor of Damascus, in order to avoid any conflict with Tamerlane, sends a group of Vestal virgins to the Tamerlane's army, hoping to please him. But Tamerlane, as the brute he is, ordered his army to slaughter all those women and have their remains displayed on the city wall as a sign of victory. Thus, Tamerlane wins the battle with Damascus. The first part of the play ends with the wedding of Tamerlane and Xenocrat, and she is named the Empress of Persia. The part two begins with Tamerlane training his three sons to be conquerors just like him. 
while he still continues to attack and win battles against neighbors. His two sons share the same ideology as their father, while his third son, Caliphus, is just the opposite. He stays with his mother, unwilling to risk death, and that seriously irritates Tamerlane. Elsewhere, Calapine, the son of Bazazid, breaks free of the jail and gathers all the tributary kings against Tamerlane. Calapine wants to overthrow Tamerlane and avenge the death of his father. War was declared and armies clashes in battleground. But defeating Tamerlane remained an unfinished dream. Tamerlane wins once again but discovered that in the battlefield, though his other two sons have fought valorously, his third son, Caliphus, remained in the tent the whole time. In rage, Tamerlane kills his own son. Tamerlane and his army father reached Babylon in a chariot drawn by all the defeated tributary kings. Tamerlane became more and more savage and brute. He finally assassinates the governor and orders all the men, women and children of the city to be tied up and thrown in a lake. His father burns a copy of Quran and declares himself to be greater than the God. But every beginning has an end. And so was true to Tamerlane. On his deathbed, Tamerlane declares his son Emerus to be the next ruler and died leaving his sons to conquer the rest of the world. Malus Tamerlane is based upon the life of the real-life Asian emperor Timur. The real Timur was of the Turkish-Mongolian ancestry and belonged to the nobility while for the dramatic purposes, Marlow depicts him as a Scythian shepherd who rises to the rank of the emperor. The play initially had only one part, but seeing the popularity of it, Marlow decided to write a part two. Each part has five acts and is written in blank verse. It is considered to be the most popular play of his time along with Thomas Kitt's The Spanish Tragedy on the list. Today's video was Christopher Marlowe's Tamerlane the Great. What are the epic sagas you want me to make a video on? Let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely cover them in my future videos. Also, let me know how do you like today's video by commenting on it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share the video as much as you can. So I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.